first grade, it's Miss Frannis, and we're still talking about our fiction books. And today we're going to be reading No David, written and illustrated by David Shannon. And of course, fiction stories are made up, imaginary or pretend, and the author uses their imagination to make these amazing and fun stories for us to read. Also, if you remember, our fiction books are shelved in alphabet order by the first three letters of the author's last name. So we see the E there, that means it's on the everybody shelves or the short shelves, and we see the first three letters of his last name, which is David Shannon, S-H-A, Shannon. So we know it's on the everybody shelf or the shorter shelves on the S shelf, and that's where we would find the books. So keep that in mind when you're reading those fiction stories. And this is a really funny one, and you might have heard it before, and I always say good books are like good friends. It's nice to visit them again. So if you've heard this one before, that's okay. It's always fun to hear a story again. So this is No David by David Shannon. David's mom always said, No, David. No, David. No, David, no. No, no, no. Come back here, David. David. Be quiet. Don't play with your food. That's enough, David. Go to your room. down. Stop that this instant. Put your toys away. Not in the house, David. I said no, David. Davy. Come here.
Yes, David, I love you. And that is our book, No David. And I wanted to read you something at the very beginning. David Shannon actually wrote an author's note and he wrote, a few years ago, my mother sent me a book I made when I was a little boy. It was called No David and uh, it was illustrated with drawings of David doing all sorts of things he wasn't supposed to do. The text consisted entirely of the world No and David. They were the only words that I knew how to spell. I thought it would be fun to do a remake celebrating those familiar variations of the universal word no that we all hear when we're growing up. Of course, yes is a wonderful word, word too. But yes doesn't keep, off, keep the crayons off the living room wall. So boys and girls, you are going to be like David Shannon. And you are going to create your own fiction story so you can make it as crazy as possible except we do have yes down here too. So you can write no and then your name and then you can draw yourself doing something naughty and then you can do yes your name and you can draw yourself doing something very nice. And of course, don't forget to put your name on the tab because you are the author of your own fiction story. So you can make it as crazy as you want to because you are the author and you are writing fiction. And remember, fiction books are made up imaginary pretend. The author uses their imagination to create those stories. I'll see you next week. Bye.